This is the Fisherman's Chapel in Leon C, who are kind enough to let me have a play on there by Borgen. <laughs> yes, this is something I've wanted to do for a very long time. So up the top we have the pipes, clearly. Down here we have a little mirror, so you can see the service uh, if you're accompanying a service. Very high position for the music there. And then we have two keyboards. The top is called the swell and the bottom is the great organ. Over this side we have some stops that uh, we'll have a closer look at a bit later. As you can see it's a little bit damaged because it's a very old instrument and uh, over this side we have the stops for the swell. Down here is where the excitement happens though. We have all these pedals and as you can see they are laid out similar to a keyboard except you play them with your feet. Uh, strictly speaking, I should have organ shoes or at least Cuban heels at this point. I didn't bring any, so hence the socks. And there's a bar here that I rest my feet on when I'm not playing. And uh, this is the beauty of the entire organ in one shot, as best as I could do. So, and we have a little curtain here so that if you're playing during a service, you can be hidden and the music can just magically appear in an angelic fashion and uh, here it is on the side of the uh, the, oh, the stage <laughs> uh, this box here is uh, where all the workings are for the electronic bellows that pump air up into this tube into the pipes and depending which of the stops are pulled out uh, that determines which pipes have air going through them so we have 8, 16 and those things refer to the lengths of the pipes and um, there we have some buttons that combine the action of the pedals and the keyboard. So I've set it in this instance to pedal to great, which links the pedals with these lower keys. As you can see, when I depress the pedals, the keys move as if by magic. And there you get a, a lovely octave effect. There is also um, several other combinations you can use for this effect. So here are the pipes and if you look behind them you can see these blinds almost behind. Easy to see when they move like this. You see them flapping. So at the moment I'm depressing the volume button but pressing the uh, great organ keys. However, when I press the keys on the swell organ you can hear it changes the volume and that's how the swell gets its name. It's literally letting more of the sound out into the room to create greater volume. So here are the keys and uh, it's just like playing a piano in some ways except you have one hand on one keyboard and the other hand on the other keyboard and I found that the top register, the swell, uh, had particularly tough action. I don't know if that's normal for a pipe organ or just for this beauty but uh, yeah it was a little bit harder to play and the trick of a pipe organ is moving smoothly from one note to the next uh, to get that real continuous beautiful sound. Here I am playing something not terribly beautiful. Pipe organ music is written on three lines. So we have the treble clef for this hand up here, the swell, the bass clef for the great organ, and then a second bass clef for the feet. There are markings on the feet line to show you which foot you should use and whether you should use your heel or your toe. And here is the chapel, and this is where I will be playing the pipe organ on June the 25th as part of my set for Lee Folk Festival and there's a piano there if things go truly awry. It's an absolutely beautiful place and I hope to see you there.